In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, I talk to you all about tags. Hello and welcome to episode 52 of my Working with Evernote series. And in this week's episode, I'm going to follow on from what we were talking about last week when I focused in on all the things you can and cannot do with notebooks. This week, I'm going to show you all the things that you can and cannot do with tags so that if you put these two episodes 51 and 52 together, you should get a pretty good overview of all the things that you can do with notebooks and after today's episode, all the things that you can do with tags. And when you combine the power of Evernote's notebooks and tagging system together, you have probably and still probably the best note taking application out there on the market today. Now that might be controversial to some people, but I can promise you, although I've tested many note-taking applications since over the last five or six years, nothing has come close to what Evernote can do for you because it can act not just as a quick note-taking application, but it can also act as your digital filing cabinet and that's the big thing for me with Evernote. So let's get into this today. Let's go on in and have a look at what all the things that you can and cannot do with Evernote's tagging system. Okay, so here are my tags, <coughs> the, the ones that I use, and you'll notice that I have quite a few tags like uh, that have what I call the child tag. So we've got down here, clients bear, clients bear, blah, blah, blah. blah. These are my child, child tasks. Um, <clears throat> and I created a demo tag here, which has demo one uh, to show you basically how you can set these up. So this is a demo tag that I have set up for this particular project. But let's just start a new tag and let's just say we're going to have uh, recipes because I know that this is one that people... What I would do is for recipes, because it's the parent tag... Yeah, I can't spell. Uh, recipe... Um, so because it's a parent tag, I always put that in bold and that's going to go under my R and now I'm going to create a new tag and I'm going to call that recipes, uh, which I could spell, dash chicken. So let's just say these are all recipes related to chicken. Now, because it's gone recipes for chicken, I need to do um, one thing it'll tell you to do that it has to do a sync. Uh, before you can actually do this. So what you do is you move the tag that you want to create as a child tag onto the parent tag. And there you go. So now I have recipes chicken. <clears throat> so let's imagine that I have a note here. I, this is obviously this is not um, uh, so four ways. To, but what let's say I want to uh, process this. I can put recipes. It comes up and then I can just add the chicken. So that's one of the beauties. I don't want to do that because this, this is nothing to do with chicken. So there's one way of doing the tags. Uh, you have a couple of views for your tagging system. You can do it by note count. So it'll put all the tags that have, sorry, all the tags with the most will come at the top. The ones with all the rest will come down below. Uh, I prefer by name because it does it by alphabetical order. Uh, by the way, if you're just curious, these tags here have got nothing to do with me. These are part of a shared project that I'm working on with with a couple of people. Uh, so please ignore those. They're not uh, actually part of my system. They're part of somebody else's system. But it's a project that I'm working with. So I don't want to delete them. Speaking of deleting, if you want to delete a tag, you can click on the tag. You can control click and it'll say delete tag. Yes, I do. Delete. Bang. It's gone. That's really quite simple. If you want to delete a parent tag, it's going to give you an option. So let's click on delete tag and it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to delete tags recipes? This tag has one or more sub tag. Delete all tags or delete only the parent tag. I'm going to delete all because I don't need it. And they all disappear. 
Uh, let's just go into, so what you do if you right click or you control click on the, on the tag, you can expand the tag, you can rename the tag, you can delete the tag, you can of course add the tag to shortcuts if you wish, or you can sort by name and sort by note count. If we go into the search, now you can search by tags. So I've got here notes tagged interest, personal style. So you have a choice. If I put in, let's, tie, well, let's stick to style, you will then get a number of options down here. So you can have suggestions or you can click by search by tags, which is a really, really good way of um, using the tag system because then you can search for things as and when you require them. So that's really all you can do with tags. They're very flexible. You can uh, delete them and you won't delete the note. Uh, they're a little bit, um, some people don't use them at all. Other people find them very, very useful. I personally use tags because of the search. It gives me another option for searching. And I've got something like four or 5,000 notes in my Evernote. And therefore I do want to be able to search for the notes that I'm looking for. But if you're not got that many notes in there, maybe you don't want to use tags. Entirely up to you. So there you go. That's the episode on tagging uh, or what all the things that you can and cannot do with tags. I hope you found this useful. Uh, if you have any comments or if you know of another things that you, other things you can do with tags, please leave a comment in the comment section below so we can share it with the rest of the people watching this video. And it only remains for me to wish you all a very, very productive week, and I will see you in the next episode.